is the town of Jericho. It is a place that many people passed by on their way to the temple in Jerusalem. There was a blind man living here, begging from people. When he shouted, Please have pity on me, the Jews looked at this person and gave him a coin. At that time, Jews had to help those in need for the sake of their faith. Then one day, the blind man heard people talking. There was a man in Galilee named Jesus who preached the word about the kingdom of God and performed miracles. In particular, it allowed people who cannot see to see. If I meet that person, will I be able to see him too? No, how can I go find that person since I can't even see him? He probably thought. A few days later, the blind man heard that Jesus, whom he had only heard about through rumors, was passing by the road where he was sitting now. Was this a dream? The blind man shouted as loudly as he could, Jesus, son of David, please have pity on me. People got angry at the blind man for making noise. But the blind man felt like he would never have this opportunity again in his life. He didn't care what people said and kept screaming, Jesus, son of David, please have pity on me. And then the blind man heard a sound. Bring him in. It was the voice of Jesus. How warm would the blind man's heart have felt when he heard the voice of Jesus? Jesus asked the blind man, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man was surprised by Jesus' words. When he asked someone to take pity on himself, people just gave him a coin. But now he met someone who was willing to do something for him. Should I ask for wealth that will allow me to live without begging for the rest of my life? Or should I ask him to put me in a high position? The blind man thought and decided to tell him what he really needed. Those are the words he had hoped for even in his dreams. Lord, I want to see. Jesus answered, Your faith has saved you. So when the blind man began to see, a new world that had never been seen before unfolded before his eyes. If we look at the Bible, it says that after this, this person began to follow Jesus. Most high Bible friends can probably see well. But are we really looking at this world and the word of God properly? Today, we would like you to pray like the people in the word. Please have pity on me, Jesus. I want to see. Then we will be able to see God's world and our neighbors better than we have been able to see before.